What is up, everyone? I'm Ryan from Fireside Yankees. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Yankees' decision making with Oswald Peraza. Kind of talking about, you know, how Aaron Boone's comments about, uh, you know, the starting shortstop situation. Alongside, we'll be talking about Andrew Benatendi's injury update. Um, we'll obviously talk about the injury update first because there's not as much to talk about there, mainly because there's not as much information available. And, you know, it's kind of pretty cutthroat. I mean, the guy gets injured on a swing that, you know, it's a freak accident. Uh, there was no contact with the ball. You know, it's not like the bat broke on his hand or something. He was like playing the field and crashed into a wall. It was an awkward swing, and he hurt himself on that swing. Um, you know, it happens. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate, of course, um, but it it happens. I mean, there's not really much else to say than other than it it happens. Um, a, as for you know the injury timeline, you know he's in a he's got a cast on his right wrist. Of course, I mean that's expected. You know, he uh, probably ruined something there, but he's back with the team. Um, so we'll see if uh, he'll be able to, you know, um, be back for October. Esteban Florial is supposed to come up um, with Ryan Weber. Uh, they're reportedly in the dugout. or So I imagine those two guys are on their way up or not on the way up, but they're, you know, going to be guys who are going to be called up. Um, and, you know, it's an unfortunate situation. It's just extremely unfortunate. Really bad luck for Benintendi. He, you know, he's been hitting a lot better as of late. He has a 107 WRC plus the Yankee. It's... It's really unfortunate. Um, as for, you know, the Boone comments, right? Uh, Aaron Boone talking about, you know, how Isaiah kind of is still in the starting shortstop, um, how Peraza is more so going to be playing some second base, you know, get some opportunities here and there. Um, you know, could it be eyewash? Sure. I mean, I could be eyewash. You know, Oswald Peraza is in the lineup starting at shortstop tonight. So I guess today and tomorrow is kind of the test to see, you know, what is Aaron Boone's, uh, you know, was he kind of, you know, you know, was it was it fate? It was an eyewash. Maybe yesterday's game was the one that pushed him over the edge to kind of give him, uh, you know, give Peraza, uh, the uh, reins to start here. But ultimately, I think the right process is going Peraza as the starter. Um, you know, you look at Isaiah kind of fell off on the season, he's having a miserable season at the plate, EWRC plus. He's bottom, uh, 15 in offensive runs, according to fan graphs, amongst qualified position players. Um, and, and if you look at you know his career slash lines, it's not like he's having a down year he's having an isaiah kind of left a year um it's pretty typical for him he has a negative bsr this year he's had a negative bsr in two of the previous four seasons the only really good base running season he had came in 2021 uh but this is not a very strong base runner a guy who's a very strong defensive shortstop he is a plus defensive shortstop he's not an elite elite guy um and then the offense is clearly not very good um so i look at a guy like isaiah kind of and i see low upside um a low median projection outcome so you know his average outcome what he's supposed to be playing to the back of his baseball card is still a below average player. And look at a guy like Oswald Peraza, and I think he can get similar defense, but you know, he get league average offense, which is for a shortstop over a large sample, a solid shortstop, right? Um, that's better than what Isaiah kind of fell off is providing you right now. So ultimately, you you kind of hope the Yankees can see that and 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 you know opt for the higher upside and the higher median outcome. Higher upside, higher median outcome, those are two really important things that we're talking about. How good a player is, you know, what is their best outcome? Is it, you know. Hey, this guy can go out and win an MVP, or hey, can this guy go out and be a five win player? Like, those are two drastically different, um, you know, uh, ceilings or 99th, 90th percentile outcomes. And it seems like the Yankees are kind of ignoring the fact that Parada's got the higher ceiling and the higher average outcome. Now, again, this could be eyewash, um, but based on how hesitant they are to name him the starter, it's really unfortunate. Isaiah kind of, again, really doesn't deserve to have the reins or the grasp, the grasp over his starting shortstop job that he currently does have. Um, and it, it's frustrating because, you know, you want to see the best players on the Yankees playing every single day. Obviously, you're going to have guys get days off with off days, you know, managing their, their, uh, you know, their workload, whatever it may be, playing matchups. But ultimately, you know, starting Peraza is not a workload management, anything of that thing. It's getting the better baseball player to be playing shortstop for the New York Yankees every single day and handing the keys to a 22-year-old who is extremely talented, has some pretty good power, has really good defense defensively is there to be a gold glove guy and the base running is phenomenal we've talked about his base running before um and the power is pretty solid you know he's, he's got an iso uh, isolated power of course near 200 at triple a um if it's at 150 160 you know with league average obp um the dude's gonna go out and probably mash he's probably gonna have a 100 105 wrc plus um which is really really strong considering you're gonna get some really good defensive and base running value that's a three to four win player right there that's better than any shortstop he's really had um in terms of war value value 
playing the position every single day since Didi was around and playing well. Um, not to say that Didi is the answer now. Didi is a shell of what he was back then. But ultimately, uh, you know, Aaron Boone has to make the right decision. And I, I think that public data points too much to Isaiah kiner of being the worst of the two shortstops. And I think, you know, with how teams kind of utilize projections nowadays, um, it, it's hard for me to imagine New York Yankees have a projection model that has Isaiah kiner of outwarring um oswald peraza and i know i sound kind of geeky here saying out warring but ultimately organizations love uh woods replacement not necessarily the public uh the calculations for war, but the concept of wins above replacement is something that's very uh, popular and well liked amongst organizations, um, and it definitely has value. So, um, you know, you know, uh, it's an easy way to look at who's good and who's not good. Um, and I think I can tell you guys pretty confidently, Oswald Peraza provides the higher median outcome. So, that, you know, what he's most likely going to be playing to back of his baseball card versus his ceiling, also better than Isaiah kind of is, you know, the best possible outcome in an individual season. Um, you know, there's above average power there. There's really good base running there, amazing speed. There's uh, as good, if not better defense there. Um, and that's just, you know, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer for the Yankees. And I hope that they see that it's a no-brainer and decide to make um, the right decision there. Um, do I have confidence they will? Um, I'm at a 50-50. You know, it, it, they're they're weird with their rookies, man. I, I feel like every time I call them out for not calling up a rookie or doing something, they do the complete opposite and, like, call up a rookie or, like, give them playing time. It's really strange. Um, but you know what? I hope that, you know, the Yankees are serious about this and try to go out and get Peraza a lot of time at shortstop. I hope that I'm wrong in criticizing them. I hope, you know, ultimately I care about winning. You know, there are a lot of Yankee fans who want them to collapse so that they can see Boone and Cashman fired. I am very much not one of those Yankee fans because I think that's BS. I think wanting your team to lose so that two guys can get fired is loserism. We should root for our teams to win. Um, ultimately, it comes down to not just if Oswald Proz is starting, but if other guys in the lineup are playing well, you know, Stanton, Glaber, all those guys are hitting like crap lately. Um, so hopefully you see guys step up. If not, the Yankees are probably going to get swept in Tampa and uh, walk out of here with their tail between their legs and not a great chance to win a division. But again, we'll wait and see. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking us out. You guys want to check us out at Fireside Yankees and Sports Media. Um, all those, both those brands, you know, those are where we're at. You know, the, there's a ton of great content, articles, the Empire Sports Media talk about all the different New York sports teams. Um, and then Fireside Yankees, you know, we got you guys with Yankee content every single day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Check me out at Ryan Garcia ESM on Twitter. And, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.